liquid coming out, can he not recreate him? Verily, he is able to bring him back to life in resurrection. Yawma tubla sarair. The day when the secrets will be examined. Famalahu min quwwatin wa la So there will be no strength and no helper for anyone. Wa sabah izahati rajah. By the heaven which sends rain after rain, recurring. Wa lam dizahati sadr. And by the earth which splits. When you know a growth comes out of it, any tree, anything, plant, so it splits. وَالْأَرْضِ ذَاتِ الصَّدْعِ إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلُ الْفَصْلِ Surely this Qur'an is a decisive speech. It's going to decide the fates of the people. وَمَا هُوَ بِالْحَذُلِ And it is not an amusing joke. Don't take it easily. Don't take it lightly. When this Qur'an has come down, as we read in Surah Tuban Israel, وَبِالْحَقِّ أَنزَلْنَاهُ وَبِالْحَقِّ نَزَلْ We have sent down it with truth, total truth. And it has come down with total truth. So now, the fate, fates of the nations will be decided by this Qur'an. As there is a very clear hadith of the Prophet ﷺ in the Sahih of Imam Muslim, Rahimahullah, from Umar ibn al-Khattab رضي الله تعالى عن عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله يرفع بهذا الكتاب أقواما ويضع به آخرين. Now Allah will raise nations due to this book and will bring them down when they turn their backs to it. This is what happened to the Muslim Ummah. وہ زمانے میں معزز تھے مسلمان ہو کر اور تم خار ہوئے تاریخ قرآن ہو کر اقبال has given this diagnosis خار از محجور یہ قرآن شدی شکوہ سنجے گردش دورہ شدی اے تو شب نمبر زمین افتندئی در بغل داری کتاب زندہی انہو لقول الفصل وما ہوا بالحضل but as for the present انہم یقیدون قیدہ O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, these disbelievers, your enemies and our enemies, they are planning their plans. They are plotting against you and Islam and Quran. Wa aqeedu qaeda. And I am also having a plan. I have a plot of my own. So my plan will succeed. Fa mahilil kafirin. But grant a delay and respite to these disbelievers. Don't make haste. Bara tajal alayhim. Don't wish that it should be decided for them very soon. No. Mahil hum. Fa mahilil kafirin. Give them some delay and respite. Amhil hum. Please respite them. Ruvayda. Gently for a while. The appeal, you know. Leave them alone for some time. Give them the time. Now this pair of Surah Al-Ala and Surah Al-Ghashiyah. This pair, this thing should be noted about this pair, that the Prophet ﷺ used to recite in the Juma prayer, in the first Raqqa, this Surah Al-Ala, and the second Surah Al-Ghashiyah. Sometimes he used to recite these surahs in the Fajr prayer on the day of Friday. But mostly in the Friday prayers, in the first Akhat, the Surah Al-Ala, and in the second, the Surah Al-Ghashiyah. And you know, the reason, it will come before us, inshaAllah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Sabbih isma Rabbika Al-Ala. Glorify the name of your Lord who is most high, the highest. الَّذِي خَلَقَ فَصَوَّهُ Who created everything and then gave it the finishing touches and fashioned it well. خَلَقَ A structure and then the finishing of that structure. That is Tasviyah. 
in Takhliq, the main structure is completed. But now, the finishing touches. You know, when you are going to build a house, when the structure is there, you say, perhaps the work has been completed, but then you come to know that the real work starts after that. So this is Tasviya. And who has determined and limitations of everything and guided it. Every creature that Allah has created, there are limitations and potentialities given to it. It can do, do this, 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 this. It cannot do this. For example, we human beings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us many things, but we can't fly. We invented aeroplane, etc., etc., but we can't fly. And a mosquito is flying. So this is, you know, the, the taqdeer of the species. Every species, an estimation has been fixed for it. These are the boundaries within which it has to live and work. So this is called taddara. And for then every, every this animal has been given a guidance. Now these guidance are, there are levels. First of all, instincts, they are also guidance. When a child is born, he knows that his food is in the chest of the mother. He at once takes that, you know, the memory gland into his mouth and sucks. Who told him? Who trained him? So this is the first guidance. The instincts, they are a guidance. Then we shall read, inshallah. In Surah Al-Shams, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given human souls a guidance which is inherent in it, that it knows what is good, what is bad. So there are many levels of guidance. This is the final guidance. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent this book, or He has been sending the books before, this is, you know, the final guidance. But the guidance has different steps. سَبْحِ اسْمَ رَبِّكَ الْعَالَىٰ الَّذِي خَلَقَ فَصَوَّى وَالَّذِي قَدَّرَ فَحَدَىٰ وَالَّذِي أَخْرَجَ الْمَرْعَىٰ Who brought forth the, the green pasture where, you know, cattle, they eat. فَجَعَلَهُ غُسَاءً أَحْوَىٰ But then, after some days, it turned into a black, blackening stubble. سَنُقْرِهُكَ فَلَا تَنْسَىٰ O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we shall make you recite our Qur'an so that you shall not forget. You don't take pains in, re in remembering it. We had this thing in Suratul Qiyamah. لا تحرك به لسانك لتاجا 